The title of this video is How to Detach Emotionally from an Avoidant. My name is Georges Verbenna. I'm an astrologer and I talk about psychology and what do you do when you have been attached emotionally, invested into somebody who has an avoidant attachment style, aka who is emotionally unavailable. How do you let go of a person like this? Well, it's very simple. Boundaries. So boundaries, they're not just external, but internal. You have to determine what is your goal? What do you want right now? Do you want your needs to be met? Can this person meet your needs? Can they give you what you want? No. Do you want honesty, authenticity, communication, availability? Can they give you this? No. Therefore, if they cannot give you what you want, why are you attached to this? You see, attachment is about getting what you want. We attach only to things that give us what we want. If you are emotionally invested into somebody, that means that you are have a subconscious assumption, a subconscious belief that they are going to give you what you want at some point. Maybe that's based on the past. Maybe they gave you what you desired in the past before. Maybe they gave you connection. They gave you this feeling of oxytocin in the brain that gets you addicted, that gets you hooked to this person. Maybe you were exposed to a feeling, a sensation that you know that you need in your life. And your brain associates that feeling that you're looking for with this person. You need to reassociate. You need to find something else, somebody else to give you that feeling that you're missing. You need to be convinced that you can get what you want somewhere else. Because the problem is, this is why many people find it very difficult to leave their trauma bond, is because we're operating in scarcity consciousness. They feel that they can't get what they want anywhere else. Because maybe they haven't found it anywhere else. <laughs> maybe they grew up in an abusive environment. Maybe they didn't have much luck in their relationship life. So their brain has not seen that it could be different. I mean, why would you be emotionally invested into an emotionally unavailable person? Why would you attach to somebody that cannot give you what you want unless you believe that's all that you deserve? That's all that you can get. Of course, you don't actually consciously think that, but your body has been wired to adapt to an environment in which you are abused, in which you are neglected, in which the people around you are emotionally unavailable. So, of course, when you are a child, you still have to attach to the parent, even if they are pathological. So, your brain has, wi has been wired to attach to pathological people. This is your baseline. This is your standard. So, if you have difficulty to detach from somebody who cannot give you what you want, it's because your brain has been wired to attach to that. It's a faulty wiring of the brain. I know that sounds harsh, but it's a reality. This is why so many people find it so difficult to leave. So, how do you fix that? You fix it by forcing yourself with an iron will, 
with the will of the gods for Christ's sake. Do you have it? Do you have a will? Yes, you have. So you choose to live. And every single day that your pathologically wired body, your hijacked consciousness, your faulty wiring, it's trying to make you feel guilty. It's trying to make you feel anxious. It's trying to make you feel depressed and responsible and bad about being left. Because that's what happens, right? That's what your brain does. When it has been wired in the wrong way, you feel bad for not being with somebody who cannot give you what you want. <laughs> you see how ridiculous this is? But this is what the brain is doing. It's been trained to do. So you need to resist. You need to eliminate the demonic possession, the faulty wiring from your life, from your body. What you need is not just to heal, but to have an exorcism. Because this is programming you're dealing with so every single day you need to choose a new program a new way of being a new reality a new life because in the past your brain has been wired to not choose life but to choose death to choose the dead parent the frozen parent the neglectful parent the bad parent Yes, the bad parent, because the parent has not met your needs, has not given you what you want. But to survive, you attached anyways. So your brain is wired for death. Yes, it's wired for a death cult. I call it devil worship, right? Of course, it's worship. Who are you worshiping? Who are you attached to? Who are you emotionally invested into? A dead person. Somebody who is emotionally unavailable, who's not present, who can't give you what you want. Evil. So therefore, it is no different from demonic possession. Once you understand this, you can see the enemy very clearly. You see, the reason why this is important to realize is because every good doctor knows before you can fix a problem, you have to diagnose what the problem is. Do you know what the problem is? This is the problem. So once you understand the problem, then you can fix it. It's a demonic possession. It's a faulty wiring of the body. The brain has been hijacked. Trauma has given you a faulty wiring. That's it. And to break the wiring, is to choose to reject death, to reject emotional unavailability with your hatred, with your separation, with your division, with your protection. Because that is rejection. Rejection is protection. So it is through hatred that you come back to love. Not through love and light, not through spiritual bypassing, not through ignoring and pretending that you don't care about this person, but realizing that who or what cares about this person is the altar upon which you have been sacrificed. The altar dedicate, dedicated to the devil, to evil, to death, which is your own self-sabotage, your own destruction, the dissolution of your life should you be invested into a person like this again and for your future to eliminate the karma of the past to destroy the wiring that has taken over your life you choose to never invest into an emotionally unavailable person that is not invested into you ever again of course you can choose that and through that choice that over time, slowly, very slowly, the brain will be rewired. And you will care less and less about this person. 
until eventually one day you wake up and you will be surprised that you don't really care anymore. Anxiety is gone. Stress is redeemed. Because your will has burned through the karma. What is karma? It's a program. It's a repetition of the past. We call it repetition compulsion in psychology. You can refer to this in astrology. To your little Chiron in astrology, in astrology you can check up your shadow aspects which have created or contributed to this karmic situation that you're now going through. If you are now in the process of emotionally detaching from a devil worshipper, which means an emotionally unavailable person, there are specific places in your chart which are responsible for this. As a good doctor, I recommend that you identify what these placements are so you can understand how are you wired? How have you been behaving to attract this person? How are you responsible for this person in your life? How are you responsible that you have to go through this purge, this detachment? And if you're interested to know about that, if you cannot figure this out, of course you can refer to me and I will read your nature chart for you. If you're interested in a personal reading or a consultation or a de-armoring session for somatic experiencing and family consolation therapy, you can check out my services down below. I am available for consultation and readings at any given time for Messenger. And if you like this video and would like to see more of this in the future, please leave a like and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.